Hey, what's going on? I'm LaPrenta Sampson and I help health conscious consumers get rid of toxic products from their life so they can achieve true wellness. In this video, we are going to do a Crystal Geyser bottle water review. All right, we're going to look at this water and we're going to test it against my favorite one. We're just going to call this one electric water. All right, we're going to test it for three specific things. The first one is going to be antioxidants. The second one is going to be on alkalinity. And third is going to be superior hydration. Now, if you haven't seen any of these videos before, what you want to do is smash that subscribe button so you get more tips, tricks, and tactics on how to improve your overall wellness. With that being said, let's go ahead and open up this crystal geyser. This is a water that actually I used to drink regularly, about a gallon of it a day. And I have switched over to this electric water. That's not the actual name of it, but it does hint at how this water is, uh, you know, how it's created, all right? So the first thing we're gonna look at is antioxidants. Now, why antioxidants? It's because we have all these things around us in the air, in our electronics, in a lot of the foods that we eat, known as free radicals. Now, these things, they come in and they take the electrons from our healthy cells when that happens, that creates oxidation and inflammation within those cells. And then it starts a chain reaction, like this cell gets it, and the next cell gets it, and another one gets it. And this ends up leading to all types of sickness and disease and other issues. Um, and so what we want is we want to consume antioxidants. Now antioxidants, they are your fruits, your vegetables, your vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E. And what they do is that they come in and they give out extra electrons to those cells that are just going through those tough times, you know what I'm saying? And in turn, that brings down the oxidation, reduces that inflammation, which is any type of itis, right? And it essentially leads to the fountain of youth. And how we test that to see if we actually have antioxidants or things that are oxidizing us is we use an ORP meter. ORP stands for Oxidative Reduction Potential, or the potential to reduce oxidation. You see, your oxidizing foods and beverages are positively charged. And so when I put this wand to this water, if we see a positive number, that means it is oxidizing us and it's creating more dis-ease and sickness in our body. However, if you see a negative number, that means it's an antioxidant anti-inflammatory and it's essentially the fountain of youth. All right, so let's check it out. Let's see what we get here with our crystal geyser water. All right, let's see what we're getting. We're getting a 220 and it is rising quick. And the reason why, once again, is because the air is oxidizing, okay? So it's just adding to it. It's like, oh, let's make it stronger, all right? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at our electric water and see how that does. Let's see what we're getting. Whoa, we are getting a negative 700 and it's steadily going down. All right, so in this review, we can see that our crystal geyser water, when it comes to oxidation, is very, well, oxidizing. All right, now that we got the first test out of the way on oxidation, let's go ahead and take a look at our second one on alkalinity. Now, cancer, Sickness, disease cannot thrive in an alkaline environment. So we want to ensure that we are consuming foods and beverages that are slightly alkaline or alkaline in nature, okay? And here is why, okay? If we are consuming things that are acidic, then guess what? That's creating, that's actually eating the electrolytes and minerals in our body, all right? Now, if we continue to do that, we're gonna end up having this problem with our blood. Now our blood is gonna be fine. It's gonna maintain a pH of 7.365, but it's just gonna have to take it from us. So it's gonna start taking it from our skin. This is how we get eczema. Okay, it's gonna start taking it from our bones, our joints, and our ligaments. And this is how osteoporosis happens. This is what makes it tough for us to get up in the mornings or we can't do the things we used to do when we were younger, right? And if this continues, it's gonna start taking those minerals from our brain, and this is how Alzheimer's happens. So we start getting brain fog. We aren't able to remember things. Now, if we're consuming things that are alkaline, it's gonna help the blood maintain that pH so it's not taking it from us, 
but it's taking it from the things we consume, okay? Now, if we see a red, an orange, or a yellow, that means this is acidic and it's actually eating those minerals and electrolytes that's in our body. However, if we see a blue, a purple, or a dark purple, that means it is alkaline. It's gonna actually be good at keeping us in balance. So what we're gonna do is use these pH drops to see what color we get after we add a few drops. All right, as you can see, the crystal geyser water is showing up around an eight, you know, it's not that bad. And um, this water here is showing up around a 9.5 or around a 10. So let me go ahead and test the strength of these waters just because they both look like they're alkaline, they're like they're really good. So let's go ahead and put them to the test. All right, in order to put these to the test, I have this straw here. What I'm gonna do is simply just blow into both of them to see if they actually can fight back and battle that acidity that I'm giving to them with my horrible, horrible breath. All right, let's check it out. Let's start off with uh, Crystal Geyser Water first. All right, so as you see, it did change a little bit. It went back to probably its normal color uh, when, when it was first bottled, right? Let's go ahead and take a look at this electric water. All right, so as you see, this, this one here does not change. Now, there are other things to consider, right? Now, going from 9.5 going down is more work because it's in powers of 10. At the same time, uh, this one is, is a lower scale, so it doesn't take as much to get it down to a neutral level. All right, so just keep that in mind as we go on to our third and final test, superior hydration. All right, on to that third and final test, which is on superior hydration. And this one is my favorite one. It's actually what opened my eyes to how good water can actually be for us, okay? Um, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use a tea bag and we're going to try to make tea, okay? Now, why are we doing this, okay? Here's, here's why. It's because our cells are like this tea bag here. They're very tight, they're, chain, they're like a chain link fence. So just imagine that. Imagine a chain link fence. Let's say we take a beach ball, pick our arms up and we hurl it at that chain link fence. What's gonna happen? It's gonna bounce back, right? It's gonna come back to us. However, if we took a marble and threw it at that same chain link fence, it's probably gonna go through it, hit someone's car, break their glass, and then you're gonna be yelling at me for it. Like, hey, why'd you tell me to do that? And I'm gonna end up having to pay the bill, all right? So your water should be able to do the same thing. It shouldn't just, you shouldn't just drink it and then it just immediately goes to your stomach and just sits there, right? It should get absorbed and actually start hydrating all this, the billions of cells that we have in our body. So let's go ahead and try to make some tea. We have our crystal geyser water right here. As you see, it's not, it's not doing anything, like it's not. It's not making any tea, I'm not even, it's making a little bit now, but that's because I'm bouncing a bag up and down. Well, you shouldn't have to jump up and down in order to get hydrated, All right? So let's go ahead and try this electric water, see what we get. Well, take a look at that. That is how you should be getting hydrated. Look at that, that's like a night and day difference. Um, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You're like, well, Princess, you cheated. The bag, the tea bag was already wet. I'm like, all right, you know what? Let's go ahead and give it one more try. See what we get here. And it's still not doing it. Like, it's not coming out nowhere near as dark as that. So once again, your cells should be able to hydrate you at a cellular level, and actually, the water should be able to hydrate you at a cellular level. And 
this water here is pretty awesome at being able to do that. So you're having to spend more money on water or you're just drinking this water and guess what? Your mouth is still dry, the water still sits in your stomach and you pass it through like your food and you don't get anything from it, okay? So what if you had something a little bit different? Let's try this one here. Woo! We'll see if this one happens. Just look at that. Just think about if you're drinking a better water. So, that concludes our test. We tested this Crystal Geyser bottled water for three specific things. First one we tested for was antioxidants and we saw that it was actually oxidizing for us. The second thing we saw was alkalinity and while it's slightly alkaline, really when you put it to the test, it's gonna end up becoming neutral again. And we want to keep our blood and our body in a slightly alkaline environment. Last but not least, we tested for superior hydration, and we saw that this has a really tough time being able to hydrate us. Now, if you are serious about the water that you're drinking, because let's face it, we're, our body is 75% water, you deserve to drink the best water for your health. So, if you are serious about your health and about the water you drink, you want to get in contact with me. Reach me on my website, laprentissampson.com, or you can find me on Facebook, where I have a page there that has more of these types of videos and bonus things that are simply too hot for YouTube. Last but not least, and actually it could be your first option, go ahead and put a comment below this video and I'll be more than happy to connect with you. I respond to everybody who posts a comment there and it's my goal to help improve the world through the wire that we're drinking and then the other things that can help improve our well-being. All right. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And remember, if we change our water, we could change our world. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.